The Catalan capital, Barcelona, home to the renowned architectural works of Antoni Gaudi. And home to Spain's oldest tennis club, the Real Club de Tennis Barcelona 1899. This famous venue is host to the Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell. This year, the tournament was celebrating its 63rd edition, and this ATP World Tour 500 event kicked off with a fun kids clinic. The youngsters delighted to meet their Spanish heroes. I'm very happy to be here. It's uh, a nice experience. It's uh, my first uh, clinic here in, in Barcelona, in my February tournament, so I enjoy it a lot uh, doing this clinic. I think it's lovely because uh, I was a kid and I was here, no? so I knew uh, what it was for me and for us it takes only one hour to, to be with them, to see the faces of the, the kids and also the Special Olympics and, and I know, I think it's lovely because also this is my club and a lot of the guys, uh, I know them from, from the school here. With three titles to his name this year, David Ferrer is a man in form and the four-time Barcelona finalist was hoping to go one better here. I began very good this season. I am here in, in Barcelona, I am only focusing in this tournament. I am glad with my year. The Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell is a tournament rich in history. This club breathes tennis, no? breathes history of tennis, you know. Uh, Always is special when we are able to play tournaments in a, in a, in a real tennis clubs. And the best players of the history have been playing here. Clay Court, a specialist, uh, won here in the past. So it's a, it's a tournament that uh, survives to, to all the eras of, of a sport. Even played in this club when I was a kid, when I was 14, 15. And it's, uh, you know, coming back here. Uh, it gives you that special feeling. It's a beautiful club. I think players are enjoying this relaxed atmosphere and, uh, you know, what more can you ask? Across town, Spain's Rafael Nadal and Japan's Kei Nishikori played some warm-up tennis at the stunning Hospital de San Paolo, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nadal, an eight-time Barcelona champion, looked upon his semi-final appearance in Monte Carlo as a confidence boost. This first few months of the season, I haven't been playing that consistent as, as in the past. But I hope this, this positive result in Monte Carlo helps me to, to calm down a little bit, to play my tennis again, and just to try to keep having positive feelings here in Barcelona. And let's try my best, we'll see if I'm able to keep playing that well. If that happens, I hope to have my chances. Sadly for Rafa, Fabio Fognini knocked him out in straight sets in the third round. The second time the Italian has beaten the Spaniard this year. For the defending champion Kei Nishikuri, his win here last year was the springboard for a blistering run of form. He came to Barcelona then ranked 17 in the world and went on to finish 2015 as a Grand Slam finalist ranked at a year-end best world number five. This tournament gave me a lot of confidence and experience. Um, it was the first tournament I think I won on clay, and it was you know, a really tough tournament on Barcelona, so, so I'm really happy that. And I, you know, I, after that, I final Madrid and you know, US Open final. So yeah, I think this was the really key for, for me to, to, to play good. And it was Kay who battled his way through to the final, where he would face Pablo Andujar in the Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell 2015. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, three times the fun, we spotlight events in Munich, Estoril and Istanbul. And bouncing back from the brink, we speak to Janko Tipsarovic as he continues his comeback from serious injury. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.